It's Rani Yoga Devi, and today I want to speak with you about what happens with yoga when you hurt your back, when you put some of your vertebrae out of place. I don't know how, but I managed to twist some vertebrae in my lumbar spine, and for me, the lumbar spine is the most vulnerable part of my back. So I have to have that taken care of. If one vertebrae is going this way and one vertebrae is going that way, if you start to do your regular yoga, your twists and things like that, you're not going to help matters while you're trying to heal. So if you should happen to hurt your back to the point that, not that it's hurt and forever you're going to have a back problem, but if you put something out and you have pain in your back around the tailbone, around the lower back, right about here, in the middle back, even up here in the upper back or in your neck. You should be really careful about what you do as you yoga practice. It should be a limited range of motion and putting less pressure. So I haven't been doing my sun salutations this week because it's just not an appropriate thing for me to do this week. So what I'm doing instead is making sure I get lots of walks and I'm doing a little bit of my Tai Chi and I'm doing a modified, very gentle cat and dog and I'm doing a little bit of stuff with the pelvis but very little because the pelvis can tip on you in the opposite way too or it can get stuck if you are um, experiencing some problems in one part of the back. Another part of the back might get upset at you when you are trying to move things it's better that you if you have a chiropractor that you can go to to go to the chiropractor and then ask them what you should do a lot of people don't listen to that advice but they really should um, in my case right now mostly what I should be doing is more of um, very very gentle stretching of my back so that's a somatic type stretch where I'm rounding the back. So in yoga, that's something like um, doing child's pose. So child's pose is, is you're sitting on your knees and you're bending forward and you're letting the head come down to the floor. But not everybody can do that. If you're starting to have problems with just allergies or anything like that, it might be difficult to put your forehead or your nose down to the floor and still be able to breathe while doing that. Still others might find that to be too much of a stretch. So I'm doing that a little bit, but I'm also doing this kind of thing where I'm just bringing my knee in towards my chest, taking a nice deep breath in, and then exhaling and just dropping my head down so that I get that nice somatic stretch through the back. The back. And then I'm just holding it for a few breaths. And then switching. And another somatic stretch that I find really, really helpful is to just let the head become very heavy like a rock and just let it hang start to feel where the muscles are tight the neck is very tight and then just slowly begin to release more and more muscles you start to feel this go all the way down into your lower back and now I'm stretching a part of my back where the rotation was. I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit. I'm bringing my feet a little bit wider apart and I'm sliding forward, elbows onto my legs, close to the knee, letting the head hang heavier. Heavy like a rock. And now I'm going to put my left hand on my knee and slowly push over to the right side. 
That's releasing the jaw a lot. Here, and I'm just going to relax and come back. And I'm going to do the same thing. The other side, push into my right hand. Over to the left. And then I'll let everything go when I'm over there. Like go over the head, the neck, the shoulders. And just try to feel that stretch through the spine and the muscles on either side of the spine. Let me do that once again to each side. back muscles when your back muscles have not been really working properly because they're under under strain when your back is trying to heal from something going out and I know that I'm not the only person who deals with this every once in a while um, so anyhow I've got a little bit of an issue going on with my back and probably next week I'll be back to my normal routine but this week has been a kind of a, a bit of a yoga right off uh, another thing that I found very helpful is doing um, what we call undulations and undulations are something that I do as a part of my belly dancing. So it's not really yoga, but I think it's a very important thing for when the lower back is paining you because you have to really get the core going. So what I do is I lift my chest and then I pull my ribcage back and then my navel back. Then I feel a stretch in my lower back. Up and back. Lower back is stretching, contracting, 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 contracting. So when your lower back is really bothering you, this is better than doing a cat and dog. By all means, you can do a cat and dog if it feels okay but it just doesn't feel okay for me right now. Um, another thing that I really think is very good to do when your back is bothering you is to just do a squat type of movement. I'm gonna stand up so my head's gonna be out of the frame for a moment. But if you bring your feet about hip width apart, I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in and then as you exhale, you're gonna come down into a squat position. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So on a normal day, I do 10 of those. But on a day when my back is bothering me, I'm just going to do two or three of those. Because as you sit down, you're engaging through your legs and your glutes and all of that. And your core muscles, your abdominals, everything is, is firing. So you're getting the support of the muscles starting to be built up again without overdoing it. You don't want to do anything strenuous when you're recovering from a bit of a back injury or subluxation, um, the chiropractor would call it. Um, but it's very, very important to make sure that you don't overdo and you don't push yourself when your body is saying no. It's one of the most important aspects of yoga is to really listen to your body and when your body says, it hurts then don't push through that this isn't like muscle soreness or anything like that some like that something like that it's not a muscle soreness for working hard this is muscle sore because they're trying to help the bones to remain in the proper position pain is a sign that something isn't right in your body and pain you have to listen to so please don't go against your body's pain and if you're not sure what's causing your, your body's pain, you should get an appointment with a chiropractor or a um, physiotherapist or even better, a sports medicine doctor. Because a sports medicine doctor can diagnose what's happening and then refer you off to the right professional to help you. So that's all for today. 
Thank you very much. I'm sorry I haven't been able to uh, continue with the Surya Namaskara. That was what I would plan to do this week.